Oh shit, we just <laughs> started up with a party over here, huh? That's the music in here. No. Oh yeah, for copyrights and stuff. Yeah, let me do that. Option. Audio. Yeah. No, it's not about the copyrights anyways. I um, wasn't say um, th this music don't matter anyways because um, it's not even like it's copyrighted. These music. Yeah. It's only when it's like those big fucking Every hour I spend in hell is one more hour. That's how we started off like that, right? Right, motherfucker. You already did, so don't worry. This is what part three is. Part three. This part three. All right. What I gotta do? Return to the. Oh, I gotta sit back a little bit. This is boss. Boss, boss. This feels good. I demand retribution for the violation Vard. of my home. Vardsputan. Scour the slums for those responsible. I will reclaim my army and destroy Vard. any Vard. standing Vard. in my way. Vard. Man, I gotta do all this bullshit on oh, this game. Right here. You motherfucker! <laughs> Dante said that the deepest circle of hell is reserved for betrayers. And as such, it should come as no surprise that Troy Bradshaw found himself in the depths of hell. However, in the case of Mr. Bradshaw, Legal Lee was confident that he could find a way to game the system. After all, Troy betrayed her of a sense of obligation he had to the saints. He was a man conflicted, and while the road to hell is paved with good intentions, ultimately, even in perdition, it would be cruel to punish a man for eternity for doing what they sincerely believe to be the right thing. Oh, come on, man, hit that shit! <laughs> Things can do. I want to swing by the old tour building. There's someone here you need to meet. All my way. Ah, shit. Emboldened by the power <clears throat> of song, Jezebel set out to find the one man that could save her from her impending nuptials. Fortunately for her, Johnny's yeah, trail like of destruction wasn't too hard to follow. One night with any lover, but you have to punch a panda. Do you do it? Ooh, good question. Um, Mr. Gat? Who are you? Well, I'm a... We're not doing that again. Oh, okay. I'm Jezebel. Good to know. What are you doing? Threatening you. You're not marrying the president. I don't want to marry the president. Well, that was easier than I thought. My dad's making me do it. What now? Now I'm holding you hostage. You don't need to do this. Yeah, that's what hostages always say. 
No, like, you really don't need to do this. I'm here to help you. Yeah, but I already have the gun drawn, so, uh... Are you kidding me? Maybe. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of winging it. Can you wing it without the gun? Eh, it's a comfort thing. Not for me. What do you want? For you to put the gun down. Get used to disappointment. You sound like my father. What? He's always telling me that life is about misery, not happiness. <clears throat> that dreams only exist to make people forget about their own mediocrity. Man, that's depressing. Being the devil's daughter sucks. What do you want? I want to punch my dad in the face. We're gonna get along just fine. Of being course, a demon. Jezebel mm -hmm. was speaking metaphorically, but Johnny didn't notice. Jezebel was eager to help Johnny in any way she could, and vowed to find a way to sneak him into the palace. Johnny frowned at the seemingly arbitrary amount of time required for Jezebel to find a way to sneak him in. But he accepted the fact that without traditional missions, this was the best way to further the story. All right, Jezebel went back home. She's gonna let us know when she can sneak you in. In the meantime, let's wait. Someone's. Hey! Get your hands off me, you fucking troglodyte! We have your friends, mortal. Uh. And they will writhe until their screams no longer please us. Type Dane, I'm coming. Fucking collectibles. I gotta go. Fuck! Oh! Oh, I gotta Don't shoot mind that. me, just feel free to kill these bad. Got a mop. God, that was worse than drinking well, God, bourbon. Tripping. Way to keep things in perspective. Thanks, man. Gotta pick it up. You'll rue the day you dare to take my the scourge of the seven seas. Goddamn right. Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 17, oh. The Battleground. This when this is all over, I don't suppose you'd be interested in sharing some rum. Fuck yeah, I am. Placed to this very day. Running out of juice. Lights up. The bard is painfully having his soul ripped. Of his body. Silently he prays for a death. Mr. Joy, it will never come. For he today will, that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Fuck yeah, Henry B. Being fifth. You lost me. If you hurt my sister, so help me! I'm coming, Kiki. You can't make me beg. Tougher than she looks. Kill all those motherfuckers. Don't worry. Thanks. Listen, about the syndicate trying to kill you. Eh, don't worry about it. Besides, I'm still alive. He died on Earth. I figured that's a wash. Huh? Makes sense. Gat! Release me! So I can mount these ingrates around my... Run. There is much work to do. You're telling me. There is much work to do.
One of you back in a box. Mic going in my ass. Mm. Oh, you. I know this is petty, but Vlad won't stop bitching about some frat boys that tossed his castle when he was locked up. Personally, I got nothing against poly sign majors with popped collars, but as a general rule, I like to keep people with nicknames like the Impaler happy. It'll really keep things going smoothly with Vlad if you could show up to one of the, the frat's pledge games and smack him around a bit. Who knows? Maybe you'll make some friends. Isn't that what college is really about? People's asses through their organs and out their mouth and had them live like that and die from out of, you know, just pain. So. You want to play poop? Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, I'm not gonna do Satan was quick. He promised. Oh no. I wanted to love emote since I was four.
Thanks to you, my name is feared once more. I am in your debt. I mean, you the gay, man. The of hell are rightfully mine. Vlad the Impaler. Put his spikes up dude's ass. Man, shut your gay ass up. Shut your bisexual ass up. Because he did it to women too. The fuck you think you're doing? Play. My sister and I built downtown, and we're not giving it up without a fight. Okay. Now we're cause mayhem and what's their side mission. Pick it up. Mayhem, what is this one? Keep it comfortable. I was right there. Looks like you kicked the dust off one of those ancient altars. Whenever you find the right power to activate one of these things, and let's be honest, you have four to choose from, it's not rocket science, you'll be imbued with the new arcane element for that power. This sounds too good to be true? Well, it kinda is. Once you steal the power from the altar, a bunch of guardians will appear and try to kill you. But if you use your new power to clear them out, it's yours to keep. Yours to keep, all right. Now you can send vengeful souls screaming at your enemies. Don't worry too much about aiming. The souls will know where to go. Got a touchdown.
Let's see what these things can do. Shot him right in the fucking heart. Archduke, more like Arch. Doo doo. Fuck it, you get it. I finished that for you. these things can do. Save the fucking souls from falling. God damn. I don't even remember St. Rose, the other one was like this. Gotta pick it up. Great job. Center pole is on the ropes. Keep the pressure on and downtown will be ours in no time. I heard from Jezebel. She's ready to sneak you in. I knew she'd come through. I'll be right there. I'm just gonna have to wait. Lady, Lady, Lady. Jezebel's plan worked Lady, Lady, Lady. flawlessly. And when the time was right, she made her way to the bowels of the palace. But while she successfully managed to breach the castle walls to let Johnny in, she did not go unnoticed. Put that toy down, Mr. Gat. And why would I do that? Oh, because if you don't, I'll break Jezebel's beautiful neck. She's your daughter. I'll say something kind at her funeral. Drop it. I mean, she's already dead. I knew it. It's you. It's always been you. Yeah, wait, what you talking about? You love her. I really don't. You love her! Oh! 
Johnny, my boy! I misjudged you! You've shown loyalty by walking into hell. You've shown cunning by robbing me. You've shown brutality by killing my generals. And now you're willing to sacrifice yourself for my daughter. You're the man who should be my son. Oh, uh, man. Uh, defiant to the end. Now listen, boy. You've proven your spirit. But don't presume to push me further. Let him go. Not now, Jesse. The men are talking. Dad, let him go. Look how you inspire her. She wants to kill me. You bring out the best in her. I'll offer you a deal, Mr. Gat. Marry my daughter, and I'll allow your companion to leave with the President's soul. It's your choice. You know where to find me. <laughs> I guess. The president's soul was within Johnny's grasp. All he had to do was marry Satan's daughter. That's it for part, uh, part three. Well, let's go ahead and cut it off right here and then tomorrow. Just get up on that rest of that Dante's Inferno and then continue this story again. <laughs>